Okay, hello guys. Welcome back to another video. This time we're having a January 2023 release for Gemini Jets, the Aeroflot Illusion 62M. Looking very nice. Look inside, Gemini Jets, one foreign skill diecast model, CGI of the aircraft, Gemini Jets jet again, the item number there, and the barcode. Very nice view of the aircraft, CGI again. Back to the bottom of the box. Flip her over, you have our beautiful Illusion 62 climbing into the skies. As real as it gets, this back of the box looks very bare this time. I swear it was not this bare. And Chinese 23 copyright, that's the first time I'm ever seeing that. So, yeah. Opening up the box. You can see, you can pause and read that there, or more accurately, pause here and then you can read everything that's there to view. So yeah, great. The model in there. That looks beautiful. Right, as always, knife now can go open. All right, now I'm just gonna plan out a few things. Okay, so right up there, if I will zoom in, there we go. You got two very interesting things there. That is the rear source support leg for the Illusion 62 as at the aft end of the aircraft, there is a small slag that comes out that allows the plane to be more stable when taxiing and such. So, Gemini just has made it that you can remove which one you want. So that's cool. As always, you have the little plastic sheet which you can play with. Choke on even. And we have the IL-62 herself. Let's see. My second Soviet aircraft. There she is. Already looking very nice, stunning. The bottom there, you can see the hole where you're supposed to insert the gear. Uh, the gears have inserted in a little bit wonky, but it's fine. Okay, maybe that left, that starboard gear I want to see. Yeah, starboard gear. Okay, that could be a little bit better, but I'm fine. Interesting how it's yellow hubs and not gray all right with the bottom sheet this time now we can get to which peg we want to insert i think i'll insert the alarm hunger peg Just dump her out Very delicate operation because you don't want to break anything. Okay, this time I think we're going to need to go into a hard surface in order to insert this one. So actually, you know what? I'm going to transfer to a different surface. Hold on a second. <laughs> Right, so actually getting the wheel in is actually more fiddly than I thought it would be because actually even though the option had the gear is included, the issue is the fact that the gear is actually, or more accurately, the hole that actually has the gear is actually not tight enough to actually grip it. So you will need to glue in the, the wheel whether you want it either in the up or the down position. Personally, I don't really want to glue it in because I want to have the ability to have it have it both extended and retracted because I like having the ability to have either one of them. So I'll come up with a solution to that and I'll probably post about it in the future. Anyways, let's get on to the rest of the review. Let's zoom in, shall we? Up at the very nose, we have the boarding door up there. The Russian characters spelling E-L-6-I-L-62-M. 
the famous Illusion glazing. You can tell this beauty was made by Illusion now. You have the winged hammer and sickle from Aeroflot. The Aeroflot titles in Russian Cyrillic. Nose gear with the yellow hubcap, I guess. The second boarding door. Two overwing emergency exits as you go along the wing. You have the main gear, which is also have yellow caps. Then here you have two engines, not just one, two engines. I'll get you a muff view to give you a better look. Two engines, very famous for the Illusion 62. Yeah, there I believe a skylight. I can't be exactly sure, but that's a skylight if I'm correct. I can't remember exactly. And then over in the back here, we have the third leg or fourth leg more accurately. I can actually zoom in or zoom out. There you go. At the top, you have the Soviet flag on the classic T tail. And then on there, you have what well, would be USSR 8649 or 2. I know it looks like it says Charlie, 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 Papa, but that would be Russian Cyrillic and. USSR in English translates as SSSR in Russian, hence CCCP. So, yeah. Moving the aircraft around. Yeah, the other side of the aircraft. Two more overwing exits. Another door, a cargo bay door, the starboard entrance, Illusion 62M, and you notice gear yet again. And now I can get you a nose view of the aircraft. And then you will be able to see the beauty of the Illusion 62. Oh, well, if my camera will focus. And that is what you call beautiful. Interesting thing about the Illusion 62 is that the leading edge of the wing, you have this little nook here. This nook provides an overwing extension as there are no slats on the Illusion 62. This was engineered to improve the flight of the aircraft and it did so very well. It took a lot of trial and error to actually make it so that it actually made a, made a difference in flight, though. No. I recommend watching Skyship's video on the Illusion 62 for more information, because I'm just some idiot American just looking around at these cool Soviet planes. So, yeah. That's that, I guess. So yeah, that will be all for this review, I guess. Do everything off to the side, and then I can do the outro finally. Well, maybe. So yeah, thank you all for watching. There goes that wheel. Oh, I got it good. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy content like this, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Good, uh, goodbye.